First and foremost, being here tonight, 50 years of hip hop, and we celebrate, and we're celebrating the regions of hip hop. So there's the Dirty South. Okay. Who are you excited to see tonight? Well, I'm excited to see everyone. I hear Master P is in the building tonight. He is a pioneer. He dared to dream so long ago and paved the way. I remember Lil Wayne with fishnet white beaters on back in the day. You know what I mean? And to see the mogul that Wayne has become, but you got to remember where he started was with the No Limit Soldiers. So 50 years of hip hop, is it's amazing to see how much has happened. I just saw Sugar Hill Gang. They stopped by here and I was just like, oh my God, this is the genesis of everything. It's crazy. Yes. And then Too Short, Sugar Hill Gang, Too Short, everyone, I mean, this is a business or a, a genre that they said wouldn't last. They said it wouldn't work. They said it was a gimmick. And 50 years later, look at us. We have inspired, we've collaborated with everybody from Smokey Robinson. You got, you know what I mean? Babyface, we figured it out all together collectively as a culture. And it, hip hop is better than ever. You are busy. So how are you balancing everything? You are busy, busy woman. Um, I have a great schedule. I have a great team and uh, Honestly, I keep God first. I keep God first. I let him order my steps. He has plans for me that are way bigger, that are plans to do nothing but make me great. So I just follow where God's taking me. How are you doing? How are you feeling? Today's a good day. Today's you know, a good day. today's a good day. Every day you gotta figure it out. Life, life's, but today's a good day. My kids are good. Yes. The babies are great. Babies are great. They're getting big, too big. Nothing wrong with that. Let them get big, but it goes fast. I, know. Goes I want fast. them to stay small. Like my daughter is here. She's uh, nine now. She's doing algebra over the summer. I'm like, what? What is going on? And the next thing, there'll be a boy, and then there's college, and you're like, why? No, uh, Kevin, slow down. Little red Corvette. No boys. No boys. Except my sons. <laughs> One day, it's coming soon. New season of All the Queen's Men, which, by the way, is unbelievable, and you get to play a power I mean you get to play a power broker I love her madam is every actor's dream it's one thing to play the cute girl but to play the villain and the hero at, like the anti-hero at the same time I think what's so cool about her is that she is so unapologetically her she dares to do things that she's not allowed to do. By the way, these are roles that normally would have gone like a J.R. Ewing or a or what Kevin Costner does on Yellowstone, all these roles. And so it's great when we get to see black women in those roles and thrive. It's great to be a black woman in the role, to wear natural hair, to wear designer wear, even from my designers. I mean, to shoot at a studio owned by Tyler Perry, everyone around us looks like us. It is so good. The checks are so good. The scripts are so good. I love it. Season three is coming out. So anticipated. Everyone's been asking. It's dropping July 20th. Uh, the trailer just dropped two days ago. BT Plus, get into it. It's everything.